If you're 19 weeks pregnant, you probably have a lot of questions like, when am I going to start feeling the baby move? Are we sure about the baby's gender? How is the baby doing? What changes is your body going to go through? And what to expect to get your next appointment? And we're going to talk about that right now. But first, if you're new here, my name is Diana. I'm a physician assistant and I specialize in women's health and gynecology. You're watching In the Pink. And if you're new here, In the Pink means in good health and spirit. So if you like being healthy and happy, click subscribe because you are in the right place. So at 19 weeks pregnant, you're in month five of your pregnancy, so you only have four months to go. Or if you like to count by weeks, you have 21 more weeks to go, so you're almost at the halfway mark. Your baby is about six inches long and weighs about eight ounces, so about a half a pound. At this point, your baby is starting to develop a protective layer over the skin called vermix. Now vermix is like a cheesy, oily-like substance that acts as a barrier protecting the baby's skin from their liquid environment. So you know how your skin gets all wrinkly if you're in the bathtub too long? This vermix is what keeps your baby's skin from getting all wrinkly. Most of the vermix disappears as they approach full term, but when you see the baby come out with all that white stuff all over them, that's what you're seeing, especially if your baby is born a few weeks early. For you by now you will almost all be showing at least a little bit if this is your first pregnancy and you are very thin you may just barely be showing but if this is at least your second pregnancy you're probably showing even more we seem to show a little sooner the more pregnancies we've had if you have moved to maternity pants already that's fine if you are still at the point where you can wear your regular pants but can't sit them up anymore I highly recommend a maternity band like this one. This is great for that in-between stage where you're wearing your regular pants, but you can't zip them up. Maternity pants are really big. Uh, this is one of mine. I loved it. I wore it all the time. And I highly recommend them. I will link to some in the video description down below. They are also great for that in-between period after you have your baby and you're transitioning back into your pre-maternity pants. On a side note, when that time comes, be patient with your body. Give it time to heal and lose the weight. I'm four months postpartum and still no Nowhere near fitting into my pre-maternity clothes and that's okay. You might also be starting to feel the baby move soon. This is called quickening. For some, those first baby movements feel like butterfly wings fluttering in your tummy and for others it might feel like a gas bubble. On average, women start to feel the baby move in the 18th to the 22nd week. So if you haven't felt the baby move yet, no worries. It's going to happen in the next few weeks. How soon may depend on a few things, like what direction the baby is kicking. If they're kicking towards your back, you don't feel that as much as if they were kicking out towards your tummy. If the placenta is on the front of your uterus, that can kind of soften the baby's kicks, making it harder to feel. And for women who have already had a pregnancy, they tend to feel the baby move a little earlier than women with their first pregnancy, probably because they already know what to look for because they already have felt the baby move with their previous pregnancies. Some women start to have some pain here and there at this point. So if you are having lower abdominal pain or back pain, first off, be sure to talk to your OB about it. But if you want to know more about round ligament pain and low back pain, which is pretty common at this point in your pregnancy, I talk a lot about that in week 18 video. Check that out if you're struggling with it. But today I want to talk a little bit about leg cramps. They're the worst. Okay, so leg cramps. This is where the muscles in the back of your calves and your feet involuntarily contract. It is, uh, it's pretty painful. We really don't know what the exact cause is. It might be from the extra strain of carrying a baby or from dehydration or less blood flow through your legs from your growing uterus. Or maybe it's a combination of all of it. It usually happens at night, usually in the second and third trimester, and it can wake you out of a dead sleep. It usually woke me up. Now the way to get rid of it is to straighten out your knee and flex the ankle and the toes towards you. Now, if you have a partner or a spouse, they can help you with it. And I highly recommend that you show them what to do beforehand so that when it happens to you, they're on it. A few things you can do to prevent it, I recommend stretching before bedtime. Continue to exercise regularly unless your OB says not to. And make sure to stay hydrated. You can eat magnesium rich foods like nuts and seeds, um, whole wheat, beans, things like that. You can even try a magnesium supplement, but talk to your OB first. There's some limited data that says that magnesium supplements might help. You can also take calcium supplements. Again, talk to your OB first. Now I'm actually doing a video about leg cramps in the near future, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when that video comes out. All right. So now it's time to start thinking about prenatal classes if you're interested. Not everyone takes prenatal classes and it's totally fine if you don't, but 
especially if this is your first pregnancy and you are really nervous about the delivery. These classes really do teach you a lot. You're gonna learn about relaxation techniques, laboring positions, uh, what your pain relief options are. You'll also learn about the stages of labor, delivery complications, um, newborn care, lots and lots of different things. So if you're interested in looking into that, I'll link to an online prenatal class, which is a convenient way to go right now. And it's also particularly safe with COVID. So check that out in the video description down below. Some other things to think about right now, this is the last week that you can do second trimester screening for genetic abnormalities. Now I talk a lot about that in week 16 video, but sure to check that out if you haven't already. You can do that test up until 19 weeks and six days. So that wraps up week 19's video. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. You have 21 more weeks to go, and that means I have 21 more videos that you can watch. So be sure to click that thumbs up button to show me that you care. Next week, I will be talking about the big 20 week ultrasound. This is my favorite ultrasound next to the six week ultrasound where you see the baby's first heartbeat. So be sure to check that out. I will link to my week by week playlist right here. Click on that video and I will see you over there. This also means that the baby's senses are starting to develop more, including your baby's hearing.